I really don't like the Elementor's image box widget, which provides me an image, a title, and subtitle. If you have a bunch of them, it looks like that. Boring, right? Instead, think in a different way. Let's gather all of the heading and subheading in a single place and show the text according to the image you hovered on. That's impressive. And after adding some fancy animation, here is the final look. Today we'll create this using the Elementor page builder. So without any further ado, let's dive into the video. So here I will show you everything from scratch. But if you also don't want to watch this whole video or just want to support me, you can also get it from my template shop as a ready-made template where you will get both the container and the old section column version. Okay, now let's go back to the main video. Here inside a blank page, we need to take a new container, give it a full width and full height, I mean 100 VH, justify content to center to place them at the middle, remove the gap between them, overflow hidden so the content will not go outside of this container, and finally add a dark background color. Then we need an another container where we'll place all of our images, make sure to give it a full width and some height, change the direction to row so that we can place all the images in a single row. Then justify content to center, remove the gap between, and we have some default 10 pixel of padding, also remove that. Now inside this we not only take the images, but also the corresponding title and the subtitle. And later with the help of custom code, we'll move them in a single place. And we need to wrap each of these items inside a single container. So let's take that container and inside that let's take the image. Give it a height and width, make the object fit cover to maintain the aspect ratio, and make a little border radius to make it more cute. And if you want, you can also add a custom link with that. To add the title, let's add an heading widget after that, make some styling, and as we take this widget, just to grab the text so you don't need to show it in this place. So make sure to hide it from the desktop and the tablet device. To create the subheading, simply just duplicate this and change the typography to make it smaller and give some minus margin to adjust the spacing. Perfect. Now let's go back to the parent container and here make sure it's full width and give its width auto so that it adjusts its width according to the image. So choose this custom option and write down here auto. Make the justify content to center to keep it vertically centered and adjust the padding to create some space. And here one thing I want to mention that during the hover state of the image, its dimension gets bigger which is 150 by 150 pixel which you can control easily by changing the minimum height option of this container. Now we can simply just duplicate this to create our another items but it's always better to check its responsiveness before duplicating because if I duplicate first and then do the responsive work, then we need to do the responsive work again for our duplicated content. So check it for tablet, looks good. And for mobile, I want to change the image dimension. And here this container gets 100% width again in mobile. Let's fix it to auto. Jump back to desktop and now simply just duplicate this and change the content inside. Now it's time to create the icon. Let's take an icon widget and place it at the very top inside this container. Upload an SVG image, give it a custom width, and we need to set the exact same height. But as there is no height option, we'll do that with our custom code. Make the position absolute to place it at the top left corner initially, add a background color, and some border radius to make it rounded. Also for this icon, adjust its size and angle. Perfect. Now finally, we will create our big heading here. And as we will generate bunch of heading here, so we need to take a separate container to wrap all of them. Make its align item center, padding 0, and overflow hidden so the letters will not exceed this container. Let's take an heading widget inside that and put the text which you want to show initially when not hovering any of the images. Give it a color and change the font to make it big. And let's create the subheading section just by duplicating this. But for this setting, change the typography to make it much smaller. Now before adding the custom code, it's time to add some classes. Like with this very top container, let's add this class, mdw image hover 119. With this icon, add this class and some other classes with these following elements. Now let's search for an HTML widget and place it at the top of this icon and paste the custom code, which I'll provide on my description. Woohoo! Now it's working. And here during hover, you can see these red color headings. 
from the top of this custom code, you can also change that specific color. Great! So it's ok for the desktop, now it's time to check it for the other devices. For the tablet, it's almost ok, we just need to reduce the size of these two headings. Perfect! Finally go to mobile. Here on mobile, I don't like this layout because then the image will get small and not properly visible. So I'd like to keep it minimal. That's why you notice that when I took this heading and subheading, I only hide this for the desktop and the tablet, not for mobile. Got it? Here we just need to adjust the gap between them for this container and also from this topmost container add some top and bottom padding. And here as we don't want this effect, so we don't either need this heading, subheading or this icon. Let's hide all of this from the mobile device. But we need an static heading at the top. So let's take an extra heading widget, style it. And as I only want it for mobile, so let's hide it from the desktop and tablet. And finally it's done. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you on my next video.